Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last season, we talked about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and this season, we'll be looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, starting with one of the first, Monarchianism. Monarchianism was a position held by some people during the early days of the Catholic Church, from about the 2nd to the 3rd century AD. The easiest way to explain monarchianists is that they were basically Unitarians. They didn't believe in the Trinity, and they went out of their way to stress the oneness of God and discourage Trinity-based thought. Not a lot is known about who exactly came up with the position, but we do know the names of some of the major figures who held this view, such as Noetus, Praxius, and Sibelius. Yes, that's Sibelius. That's why he held that weird view that we covered in the episode on Sibelianism, about God basically just being one being, playing different roles. He didn't think God was multiple persons. Monarchianism was an overarching term for a position that encompassed Sibelius' views, as well as a number of others. Also, notice how monarchianism sounds an awful lot like monarch? That's no coincidence. The monarchianist position was driven by a desire to stress the central authority of God over all other things, and the monarchianists just didn't see central authority as something that could be shared between different persons. Now, in fairness to the monarchianists, there is definitely support for the view that God is one in very prominent places throughout the Bible. To give just one example, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy 6, 4. And, sure enough, Christians do believe that God is one God. However, there are also verses that show that the persons of the Trinity are multiple. And Jesus, being baptized, forthwith came out of the water. And, lo, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming upon him. And, behold, a voice from heaven, saying, This, this is, is my, my beloved, beloved Son, Son, in whom I am well pleased. pleased. Matthew three sixteen to 17 The Father, Son, and Spirit being present and distinct at once does seem to indicate that the persons of God are multiple, and challenge Sibelius' idea that God is playing different roles all at once. Sure enough, at the First Council of Constantinople in 381 AD, belief in the Trinity was adopted as a required Christian belief, and monarchianism, which was contrary to that, was a heretical view, and was treated as such from the 400s onward. Next time, what was Marcionism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.